This is unit three, lesson D, notes, solving absolute value equations. An absolute value equation is an equation that contains absolute value symbols and has two answers. Remember to set the equation equal to both the positive and the negative answers, then solve for the variable. So every single one of these questions, you should have two answers. We're going to take a look at example one. First question, is it everything inside the absolute value that's on the side of the x? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and write this twice. It looks so nice, I write it twice. The first time, I take what's inside the absolute value, and I set it equal to the positive answer. The second time, I take what's inside the absolute value, and I set it equal to the negative answer. Since x is already by itself, I don't have to solve. And this is my final answer. Pause the video now as you try example two. Press play to go over your answer. So I end up asking the same question. Is everything inside the radical, oop, inside the absolute value, on the side that has the x? Yes. It looks so nice, I write it twice. I write what's inside the absolute value equal to the positive answer. I also write what's inside the absolute value equal to the negative answer. Now this one requires a little bit of solving because we have to subtract 5. My first answer is x equals positive 3. But my other answer, negative 8 minus 5, is x equals negative 13. So these are my two answers. Pause the video now as you try example three. Press play to go over your answer. Is everything on the side of the absolute value inside the absolute value bars? Yes, it looks so nice, we write it twice. X minus two equal to positive 15. X minus two equal to negative 15. Now we solve. Add two, add two, X equals 17. Add two, add two, x equals negative 13. Final answer, and that matches with letter C. Pause the video now as you try example 4. Press play to go over your answer. Is everything on the side of x inside the absolute value bars? Yes, it looks so nice, I write it twice. First time equal to positive 4, second time equal to negative 4. I divide both sides by 5, x equals 4 fifths. Divide by 5, x equals negative 4 fifths. Final answer, and of course that's letter A. Pause the video now as you try example 5. Press play to go over your answer. We rewrite it twice because everything is inside the absolute value bars. Once with the positive answer, once with the negative. We're going to subtract 6. Negative 2x equals 4. Subtract 6 over here, you get negative 2x equals negative 16. Divide by negative 2. We get x to equal negative 2 and x equals positive 8. Final answers, and that matches up with letter B. Now here's where things get a bit different. When I ask that same question, is everything on the side of x inside the absolute value bars? And if your answer is no, then you have to move whatever's on the outside before you write it twice. So I'm going to add 9 since 9 was outside the absolute value bars. So then I get the absolute value of x. Notice I have not written it twice. The absolute value bars are still there equals 11. Now I go back through it just like all the other times. I write it twice, once with the positive, once with the negative. My final answer is x equals 11 and negative 11. Pause the video now as you try example 7. Press play to go over your answer. Add 3. 
absolute value, we have not written it twice, 3 was on the outside, of 2x equals 8. Now it looks so nice, I'm going to write it twice. Once with the positive answer and once with the negative answer. I divide both sides by 2, x equals 4, and x equals negative 4. And there you have it, final answer for example 7. Pause the video now as you try example 8. Press play to go over your answer. Subtract 3, subtract 3. Absolute value is negative 4x equals 16. Notice absolute values are still there because I haven't written it twice yet. I had to move the 3 first because it was outside the absolute value bars. I rewrite what's inside equal to the positive answer. I rewrite what's inside equal to the negative answer. I divide both sides by negative 4, and I get x to equal negative 4, and x equals positive 4. Final answer, and that matches with letter B. Now, I could have crossed off letter A to begin with, because all absolute value problems have two answers. So anytime I see this, I will always know I will have two instead of one answer. Pause the video now as you try example 9. Press play to go over your answer. Minus 5, absolute value 5x equals 20. Now it looks so nice, I write it twice. 5x equals 20, 5x equals negative 20. Divide both sides by 5, x equals 4, and negative 4. So that's the answer B. And that brings us to the end of our video. If you have any questions, raise your hand and ask. If not, have a wonderful day and begin working on that, working on that, work.